Hello and welcome to this Dr. Rossmouth's key skill video on interpreting a pie chart. Now what a pie chart is really good at is showing the proportion of times each thing occurred. So if we surveyed some friends on their favourite colour, we can see from this pie chart, well, this blue region here is just less than half the circle, because if this is a circle, half the circle would be like that, and we can see the blue region is just less than half the circle. So that means that just slightly less than half of Bobby's friends like blue. So that's what pie charts are really good at, where we're more interested in what fraction we have of each of the values, where we're less interested maybe in how many people said blue or how many people said red. We're just interested, for example, that more people like blue than green or red. Now we want to know how many people chose green as their favourite colour. Now we know there's 90 people in total. Now I've given the angle of this slice of the pie chart here for green. So we need to somehow use this 72 degrees to work out how many people said green. Now let's first think, what's the fraction of people that liked green? So we work out that. Well, if you think about it, the full angle at the centre, this full angle, is 360 degrees. A full spin, remember, is 360 degrees. That would be the full pie chart. So if this slice, this green slice, is occupying 72 degrees, the proportion of the pie chart is 72 out of 360. Because the full angle is 360, and we're just using 72 degrees of it. Now we know there's 90 people, so if we know the fraction like in green is this, we've got to do this fraction of the total of 90 people. So we just need to do 72 over 360 and multiply that by 90, so the appropriate fraction of all the people, and if I do that on my calculator, we get 18 people like in green. And that is the final answer. Now, if you really wanted to memorise a formula for this, and I don't recommend it, I just like thinking, well, what fraction of all the people do you want, then the formula is this. The frequency, the number of people that you're interested in, is equal to the angle of the slice divided by 360 degrees and then times by the total frequency, in this case, 90 people. So that's the formula, but as I say, I prefer not to memorise formulas in maths. Where possible, I prefer to think about what I'm doing.